So what happens if we're trying to find a moment around an axis instead of the moment around a point? Okay. So for example, here we have maybe this, this uh, bar here, and we know how to find the moment around point O, right? That is R cross F, R cross F, performing the cross product there. But what if we want to find the moment around the x-axis, not necessarily the point O, okay? So this is a two-step procedure, right? The first is to find the moment around point O, the point on the axis there, okay? And then second, we would take the dot product of the unit vector pointing in the axis direction and moment around the point. So let's, let's talk about this. So step one, we would just take the moment around O like we normally do, which is R cross F. Okay, and we get this, cr this cross product answer. And then from there, we use step two, where we would take the, mo to find the moment around the x-axis. And this would not be a vector here because we're performing a dot product or scalar product. The moment around an x-axis, for example, would be, we would take the moment that we just found in step one, and then we dot it with the unit vector in the x-axis okay so this would look like moment o dot with the vector if we wanted the unit vector for the x-axis that would be one in the i plus zero in the j plus zero in the k and that would be the moment around the x-axis then okay so if we want to do this about the y-axis, we would have the unit vector for the y-axis. If we wanted to do it for the z-axis, we could put in the unit vector for the z-axis here. Um, but it also works for arbitrary vectors. So for example, if I was just to draw an arbitrary vector, let's call this A, and I wanted to know the moment around this, this vector or axis A. Well, what would we have to do? We would have to first transform A into a unit vector. And remember, we take the vector A and divide it by its magnitude, and that transforms it into a unit vector. And once we have that, we would just sub in our unit vector into this equation, and we could take the moment around an arbitrary axis as well. So that is an additional application of the moments.